My name is John Thomas Nelson. And I'm about to call up the FBI office to talk to them about what's going on right now. Because once again, I feel that this is very, very, very unfair to me. So here I go. If you are calling to report a bank robbery, please press 1. Para español, por favor, prima el 6. If you are calling to provide information regarding a potential crime, please press 2. If you're... You have reached the Federal Bureau of Investigation's public access line. This call may be recorded or monitored. Yes, sir. Um, my name is John Northland, and I'm, I'm calling you, sir, because I don't know who, who else to call. But I'm having a situation dealing with the police here in Houston, Texas, dealing with me being a paralyzed person and something happening to me March the 5th of 2013 to now they're opening up a new investigation and it, 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 and the police then got involved now because when I was in City Hall, I tried to stand up for myself, sir, in my wheelchair, and I fell down because I'm a paralyzed person. I can't stand up, but I had to try because nobody was listening to what happened to me, sir. And I'm like, when they scooped me up on the, from the ground, they hurt me worse than I was already hurt. And I went to the hospital and everything, but then I end up filing charges against the police department. So now I have charges against ambulance drivers and police, the police department. And it's like someone was outside my house yesterday at three o'clock in the morning. Now someone is out there again today. And it's, and, and I'm scared that he must call the police because the police is involved. Do you understand what I'm saying, sir? What's your last name, Jonathan? Northland, sir. John Northland. And I done been to your office and everything about this, sir. And, 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 and Say last name for me, Jonathan. N O F L I N. Okay, so you have filed a complaint against the, the local police department um, for. What's the complaint for? Because they, you believe that you were injured when you were in a court matter, and they went to pick you up. Yeah, yes, it, it was. It was. It was. It was. It was city hall counselors meeting, and 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 I I had I had been to city hall six to seven times, sir. I had been to city hall behind this incident, so I'm gonna give you a rough part of what the incident is. March the fifth, I called nine one one. Because I was having a bad, bad, I was feeling real, real bad, and I thought I was dying. And my sitter, the guy that sits for me, he called 911. And I had paramedics come to my house. They arrived at my house at 840. I arrived at the hospital at 1151. And I have, I have a tape of everything that happened to me inside of that ambulance from 8.40 to 11.51, sir, and I reported all of this and everything. So now they're about to do, open up a whole new investigation because of what happened to me in City Hall. But it's been a year and three months, sir, and now this thing is starting all over again with people outside my window just like was way back March the 5th. For it to happen to me again, August the 27th, to shut up about what happened to me, March the 5th, sir. And I'm feeling very vulnerable because it seems like no one is helping me. But now that I took it back to Investigator Terms Affairs, after Investigator Terms Affairs came here to my house when I reported this, and then I 
for investor invest in turn in turn get investor affairs, they open this case back up because they see they see not no no they, they did not do no investigation, sir. And I'm like, now with the police is being involved and there already was the paramedics and now someone is starting to mess around outside my window again after all this time. I didn't want to be this person, sir. I did not want to be the person, but I just wanted those guys out of my neighborhood if they could stop an ambulance and do me like they did me, and I am a paralyzed person. I couldn't get up and walk out that ambulance. I couldn't get in my wheelchair and roll away from them guys with that ambulance. I had to go through all that there in the back of the ambulance with it turned off with two individuals by myself, sir. And I'm not understanding this. Okay, I'm not understanding. Jonathan, are you suing the ambulance driver? The, is that what you mean by ambulance? Yes, yeah, it, it, uh, it, it's, 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 everything is the Houston Fire Department. It's the Houston Fire Department paramedics, and now it's the Houston um, Police Department with the, with, with the guys. Because I had told the guy before they picked me up, I said, don't touch me, don't touch me. Because cause my, body, my body is real sensitive. I had to give it a little time so I can get, get it back in motion. And do you know about paralyzed people having muscle spasm, right, sir? I understand that, sir. So what I, did, so what I was planning on doing was I was going to let them off the hook because I realize now why they hurt me. They hurted me because they thought that I was resisting their help, but I wasn't. My body went into a whole muscle spasm. You understand what I'm saying, sir? So I, I can say that that, well, that death wasn't their fault, but it was their fault because they treated me unfairly because they was thinking that all this stuff that I was doing, I was doing it because I was lying about something that really, really happened, that they was brushing under the rug, and I was not going to let it go, sir because I am somebody and I do love life just like you and everybody else love life and when you're scared to die you're scared to die and 911 is a, a civil number that everybody should be able to call in case of emergency sir and I just can't believe that that happened to me March the 5th and then again August the 27th and they said they did an investigation and they closed both investigations on the same day and I'm like, no, man, no, I can't believe this, no. But now they got people outside my window, sir, and I'm saying this here, I have to call somebody so somebody will know what's going on, if anything, do go on and something happened to me, sir. And this is serious, and it's been serious since March the 5th to say that here it is, a year and three months later, and now they about to open the case back up because of what I had to bring to them. I brought all this new information to these people. And I'm like, wow. And no one is coming to my rescue. I'm in this by myself, a paralyzed person. And I have people that want to come and jump. But I'm like, I'm a grown man, sir. Just because I'm in a wheelchair, I don't need no help. I shouldn't have to need no help. I shouldn't have to be standing like this, man. All I did was what you would have did. I reported what happened to the people that I needed to report what happened. And what I got for it, I got a whole year of torment by who I don't know. I don't know if you're trying to run me crazy or make me kill myself. But that's the type of pressure that was on me that whole year, sir. And I'm like, wow, now it's starting all over again. Yeah, I didn't okay, want to. Let me place you, you on hold,
Yes, sir. I'm still here. And what's your name again? Yes, what's your name again? I'm going to give begin? you a telephone number that oh. I want you to contact, okay? Okay, and, and I want to know what, what, is, what is your name again? I can give you my ID number. Oh. 9061. Okay, 9061. Man, I, I hope after all this here is over, I get to at least meet you, man, because you're about the only person that made me feel like I'm mad since I talked to anyone at Soap Bureau. And at the bureau in New Orleans, Louisiana, when I was at that bureau. And I'm feeling real bad right now, man, but I thank you. I thank you. You made me feel a whole lot better. Okay. okay, hold on one second. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Okay, what is it? Okay, do you live in Texas, correct, Ms. Jonathan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. The number is five one two four six three two one zero zero. And that's for the Attorney General's office of Texas. You can give them a call. I'll be there tomorrow. If you can't reach them tomorrow. Monday morning, okay, Jonathan? Alright, you say it's, it's, it's 512 463 2100. 
That's correct. Okay, sir. I appreciate it. Okay, give them a call to see if you can tomorrow. If not, reach them Monday morning, okay? All right, and then one, one more time, that, that, that um, ID number? It's 9061, okay? Thank you so kind, sir. Thank you. Okay, you have a good night, John. You Bye-bye. too. Like I said, my people, what happened to me March the 5th wasn't nowhere near fair to me. And I'm, I'm going to give y'all a, a, a little portion of it. All alone. Being alone, bro. Like to the wind blow. All right, good people. We about to be up here and watch a little light. And I'ma set it up, put it on YouTube too. It's 16. It's 16 minutes of me talking to the FBI and breaking down the FBI. So I'm gonna kill that FBI. 